Okay. Sheila and I are spending the day at Roosevelt Lake. This is one of my favorite lakes in Arizona. Um, it's particularly close to my heart because growing up we didn't do a lot of like family vacations. We couldn't really afford to go places, but pretty much every summer my parents saved money, got it together, and we would come down here for a camping trip. It started when we were really young and it was just our family, and eventually it ended up being multiple families with their kids, and we'd come down for about a week and just camp and swim and hang out and have a great time. Uh, my birthday is in June, so many of my birthdays growing up were spent here at the lake, so uh, it's one of my favorite places in Arizona. So lake day is going well, we're having a good time. It is Sunday, so everybody from the weekend is going back to the valley, which is my favorite. Uh, as you can see, we basically have the whole place to ourselves. Way down there, there's still some people, but this whole end is ours, which is great. Because then Sheila can be loose, and I don't have to worry about other people's off-leash dogs coming into our area and her going into their area and vice versa. The only thing that sucks is there's about 45 billion flies here like they're all like landed on all my shit they're just like swarming around whatever they're not biting bugs or mosquitoes or anything so I can deal with it but not my favorite but I did get there's a whole bunch of flies in my car you can probably see them flying around the camera now I did get a couple noodles from the Dollar Tree so uh, fun fact about me I don't know how to swim. Not bad, like, I can keep myself floating for a period of time, and I can doggy paddle a bit, and I was just practicing a little bit ago, I am getting better at kind of floating in place, which is difficult for me, um, but I can't just like swim swim. You know, like, and I can't really tread water for too long. Um, I'm not afraid of water or anything like that. Um, if anything, I'm perhaps overconfident in water, but I don't put myself in situations where it's like exceptionally dangerous or anything, so. But these will be fun since I am not great at floating on my back yet. I am getting better, but I'm not great at it. So I got a couple of these and I'm just gonna like, float around for a while. Uh, they are from the Dollar Tree, so they are not like as thick or probably as good quality as the like real pool noodles. So I got two of them because I don't know if like what I want to do is like put them under my arms and just float around, but I don't know if one of them is like dense enough to support me, so I got two. If one does work under my arms, then I'm gonna put the second one under my knees and then like float around like one of those old people uh, like Tempur-Pedic beds, we'll see, so who knows? This is one of the best times of the year to come visit Roosevelt. It's after Labor Day. Um, 
Today is actually September 11th to give you some frame of reference. It is still hot here, you know, easily 100 plus degrees, but the water is really nice. And because it's after Labor Day and it's hot, most of the people clear out after the weekend. Um, Fridays and Saturday nights are still pretty populated. Um, but Sunday, everybody clears out and they're heading back down to the valley. So if you can come on a Sunday, great. You're not going to have uh, as many people here. Sheila and I are basically by ourselves. There's some people way down there. And then on the other side of us, um, way down there are some people. But it's nice because Sheila and I don't like people that much. Uh, we like to have our space when we come to a place like this. And it's perfect. Yes, it's hot, but you get in some shade. The water feels amazing. Um, and you can see the beach here. It's really great for getting on a paddleboard. There's some people out there on paddleboards and kayaks. So it's really accessible as far as lakes go. It does have a very small section of shoreline that's accessible for use, um, just depending on water level in the lake. But in my opinion, this is much better than a lot of the other lakes here. Roosevelt is a man-made reservoir and so there's a dam down at the end and the water levels do fluctuate a lot just depending on if they're letting water out or not. You can see this dark line. The water a couple weeks ago was up to that line when we came to the same spot so they've let out quite a bit of water. few things to keep in mind if you come to this lake is it does require a Tonneau Pass. You can buy it at the local businesses here down in Tonneau Basin. Um, the Butcher Hook is I think the last place before you hit the lake that you can stop it. Otherwise you can get them in Payson. Um, a lot of gas stations, places like that have them. There is also an annual Tonneau Pass. I think it's like 80 bucks. I'm not sure. Another thing to be aware of is there is a lot of bugs. You know, obviously it depends on the time of year. Right now there's just tons of flies. It's bearable. It's not mosquitoes or like biting bugs or anything like that. It's just, you know, kind of annoying. Also, pick up your garbage, please. A lot of people use this lake and a lot of people trash it and it's just a bummer. So clean up after yourself. Also, something to be aware of is there are these cockleburrs around here. Uh, they get stuck to your feet, your dog, your hair. I pulled a couple out of my hair that were floating around in the water. Sheila's got a bunch of them I'm going to have to pick out later, so be aware of that. Also, along that same line, wear shoes. Just wear shoes. I like to be barefoot as much as the next guy, probably more so, but there is broken glass, there's fish hooks, there's nails from people burning pallets, there's all sorts of things that you don't want to step on around here, unfortunately, so just wear shoes. I have my trusty Crocs. I also have some Keen uh, sandal shoes um, that strap on nicely, so wear some shoes. Flip-flops if you need to, but definitely wear something on your feet. Another thing to be aware of is there's not really bathrooms here. There are some porta potties by the entrance. Um, it's a bit of a walk, but nowhere down by the beach are there bathrooms. So keep that in mind, prepare accordingly. Uh, if you're coming down here with a group of people for like a weekend or something, it might be worth it for everybody to pitch in and rent a porta potty and have it brought to your camp. My sister and her friends do that every year and it works out nice. It's not even that expensive. Um, 
you know, you can call like little stinker up in Pine and rent a porta potty pretty cheap. They'll bring it down here for you. They'll come pick it up. It's definitely worth it if you're going to be here for more than a night because the walk to the porta potties is not fun. <laughs>